I'm up at 5 a.m., first thing I do is make a good, strong pot of coffee. Turn on a bus, get everything warmed up, ready to roll. And I'm usually on the road between 5.40 and quarter to six. I get up at about 5.50, then get on the bus by 6.45. The bus ride is about an hour 15. What I do on the bus is I'll listen to music, or in the morning I'll sleep because we have to get up so early. They get on the bus when it's dark, and they get home when it's dark. That's their social time. The Gunflint Trail is a two-lane paved highway that goes from Grand Marais up into the Superior National Forest. Two days ago in town here, we were minus 11, and up the Gunflint Trail was minus 28. Our district covers 1,650 square miles, and we have approximately 600 students in the county. We have seven regular routes that covers 1,600 square miles. Almost all of our kids ride buses, and so in order to get kids the education that they need, our transportation is hugely important. We have great bus drivers who get us from here to there safely. They're a really good bunch of kids. You gotta make sure that those little buggers get home in one piece. That's my biggest concern, is that they are safe. We know we have kids standing out in extreme temperatures, and they expect us on time to have a dependable vehicle is just great. I like the traction control. You can just leave that on, it'll kick in when it needs to. We've always had great luck with the international buses and we've never had a motor issue up here. We've never had a transmission problem. I've been dealing with international buses since 1986. For me, what works, I don't want to change. Safety is our number one priority, whether it be on the buses or in the school district. We're constantly working hard to meet the needs of all of our students.